Hello to our audience. Welcome to Enlight Connections. We are excited to be with you today, and we just welcome you. Um, I am Loretta Mayberry, and this is Ernie Dorsey, and this is Marilyn McGarry, and um, we are coming to you with this taping to talk about God Will Save the Children. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord stirred something in me with um, my church's Bethesda Worship and Deliverance Center, and a new family is there, and um, one of the young women's friend, he committed suicide. He shot himself and killed himself, and and that just um, I'm, I'm I'm already real partial to children. Uh, I see, you know, with my grandchildren, uh, some things that I would like to see them do better, mm -hmm. especially spiritually. Mm -hmm. And so um, God just he, he prompted this that that He will save the children. And I, and I say to you that if you have, and Ernie, you mentioned something about that in the last taping, and no matter how bad or whatever you've been, that God will, mm -hmm. uh, he's there to save you. And, and it's the same thing with our children. And so I said mm -hmm. that if you have struggled with your children and have been praying for them for years, mm -hmm. uh, we pray that this discussion is for you. Uh, and I say to mothers and to the fathers, both natural and spiritual, have such an, we have such an important role in, in our children's lives, in, in their growth with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so I, we started out with uh, the scripture coming out of Malachi mm -hmm. 4 and 6, and then I put, I guess after I looked at the scripture, I put in parentheses 5 through 6. So if one of you could look, look up, look up that fifth verse, I'm gonna go ahead mm -hmm. with the sixth verse. Okay. <clears throat> and it says, he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their, uh, to their and smite the earth with a curse. <clears throat> now, what this is talking about, and what I gathered is that, um, Elijah is talking about Elijah would come and that he would uh, do some things that would turn the heart to the fa to the fathers and the fathers uh, and the children's heart to the father. Mm -hmm. I might have repeated myself, mm -hmm. uh, but that Elijah has already come mm -hmm. uh, in the spirit of John the Baptist. And uh, people would do feast, and they would put a chair to the table and set the table. I even went to a, a, mm -hmm. a service at someone's it's house later, like that. Yeah. And I think they mm -hmm. went and slammed the doors, though, Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And so, but G and Jesus has already come and ascended. Mm -hmm. And all this has happened over 2,000 years ago. And so, but I, I, I kind of I feel that in, these, in this new era, that the father's hearts are not um, uh, not talking about the heavenly father, but the but the natural father's hearts are not as um, turned as as as, as uh, towards the children as they should be, mm -hmm. and nor the children towards the father. Uh, uh, so we have got a lot of work to do. Uh, is there, did you get that, that fifth mm -hmm. verse? What yeah. did it say? <clears throat> the fifth verse, um, it says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet mm -hmm. before the coming of the great and dreadful day of mm -hmm. the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I was just going to say that's pretty uh, interesting because that's basically he's talking about the second coming. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Yeah. You and we're anything. at, well, we're, we're in that time yes. frame now, so yes. we're experiencing that. Yes. So we're starting to see that. Yes. And so that's why it's been such a fight and a battle for the children, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and even fathers. I mean, a lot of mothers are raising their children without the father. Yeah, that's and, right. You yeah. know, it's like the fathers don't know who they are. They've that's not right. raised up and gotten to their rightful position. So the enemy has used that really to tear the family apart that's right. and destroy uh, mm -hmm. The lives of children. He hates family. Yeah, exactly. He hates family, 
Mm -hmm. uh, because if family will pull together, it's nothing like family. Mm -hmm. If family will pull together and be united, mm -hmm. you know, then that, that will help uh, in, the, in a spiritual way uh, mm -hmm. towards walking with God and serving God. So can I now read that? Let me read the sixth yes. after that. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to read five again and add okay. six together. Okay. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming mm -hmm. of the great and dreadful day of mm -hmm. the Lord. Mm -hmm. That means if we're in that season, it should be happening now and manifesting. Mm -hmm. And verse six says, and he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children mm -hmm. and the hearts of the children to their fathers. Mm -hmm. Least I come and strike the earth with a curse. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought when, when um, John the Baptist came in, and he came in the spirit of Elijah, mm -hmm. that, uh, that some of that took place then. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I'm not saying that it's not still mm -hmm. taking place now. Um, if I'm wrong, please correct me. I think it's just, a, you know, it's, a, it's an era. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Time frame wise, okay. we're still it's still we're still living in it. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, it's, it's still not occurring. something just happened then and it was done. Right, right. It carried. Is yeah, and yeah. still going. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I, I want to say how as I prayed lately about my past mistakes mm -hmm. as a mother, God spoke to me and it spoke volumes mm -hmm. to my broken heart. Mm. Uh, he spoke this to me. He said, what about the good things you did? Mm. The strengths you have passed on to them, talking about to my children. And then the thought came, it's not how you start out, mm -hmm. but it's how you finish. Amen. I can get that out of my amen. spirit, Ernie. Amen, amen, that, that's, amen. that's so profound to me. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not how you start out, mm -hmm. but it's how you finish. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, you know, there's a lots of mothers out there. I preached on Sunday, uh, Mother's Day, for Mother's Day, and there's a lot of mothers who are still kicking themselves mm -hmm. because they have come to their senses and they have accepted Jesus Christ and, mm -hmm. and they look back at the mistakes that they made. Right. And, mm -hmm. and, and my God, if God can forgive you, come on. Uh, you need yeah, to forgive yourself. yourself. Yes. And if the kids are still uh, holding stuff against you, mm -hmm. then that's their problem. Mm -hmm. If you have gone in and you have said, forgive me for that that mm -hmm. I did or that that I did mm -hmm. not do, uh, then that's their problem mm -hmm. because you have done your part. Mm -hmm. Now, do either of you have anything to, to add to that? I'm, you know, just what you said just resonated in my spirit. I mean, my baby leaped. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, you, you try and you do what you can do to, uh, uh, because you think you're all at fault. But, you mm -hmm. know, remember the expression, it takes two to tangle? Absolutely. And so, you know, I have just had to learn. I mean, I repented, you know, because we all make mistakes, you know, we, mm -hmm. we're nobody's perfect. And so I just, I had to repent mm -hmm. and, 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 it was. It made me feel much better, not because that's why I did it, right. but because I just needed some relief, you know, because I was torturing myself. Yes. You know, thinking, okay, I didn't do do this right and do that right. Well, you can't go back. Right. So, you know, I had to go forward. That's right. That's right. That's right. And so I've got written here that those of us who are living a blameless life, who are living God, for God is awesome. Mm -hmm. He loves it. However, we need to lock hands mm -hmm. and help our children. And parents need to allow others mm -hmm. to help train up mm -hmm. their children. Mm -hmm. I talked mm -hmm. about Sunday how people don't want you trying to correct their children mm -hmm. during this era. Mm -hmm. uh, even uh, they will go up to the schools. When I was growing up, and God knows it has been many years mm -hmm. ago, mm -hmm. But the, the principal, the, the school, they helped raise the children. Mm -hmm. The neighborhood, mm -hmm. everybody was helped raising the children. Yeah, their families. Yeah, the, yes. Mm -hmm. And you had less people going to jail. You didn't see uh, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, murders and stuff. Mm -hmm. You didn't see people breaking in houses. 
children were being trained up in the mm -hmm. way that they ought to go. Mm -hmm. So God told me once, a child is born innocent. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and he told me that I, 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 my, I had a grandson that I took with me to Arkansas and, and um, while I was, we were there, he stole all kind of stuff. I noticed he was mm. in a hurry to leave when we got back. <laughs> wow. And, and my sister called and she was livid. She was, mm. oh, she was ticked off. Mm. And, uh, and I was like, slow down. I, I can't even understand what you're saying, Harley. And, uh, and then I just began to, of course, we paid for everything, me mm. and, and uh, the father. Mm -hmm. uh, replaced everything, but still that had kind of damaged things with the family. And uh, I, I'm like, Lord, what, what is it? I mm -hmm. mean, he was just such a sweet kid and whatever. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and God said they are born innocent, mm -hmm. but it's how we, how the parent train up those children. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, as they're growing up, how we, how we, um, even my mother sent me to church when she was not, when she got where she wasn't able to go, mm -hmm. I was still going mm -hmm. to church. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. we, we have got to help our children mm -hmm. and we have got to allow other people to come in as yeah. long as they are saying some positive things mm -hmm. and talk with our children. Yes. You know, it's that saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Mm -hmm. And it does. I was just thinking that. It does. Yeah. They, it does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they need to receive yeah. love. They also need to receive discipline. Mm -hmm. And they need to be trained to take, to, to, to oh, let me see what I got here. Tra training has to take place. Right, exactly. right. That's what I got. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to also allow them to make decisions for themselves. Right, right. You right. got to allow them to fail sometimes. Mm -hmm. Experience both failure and success. You know, I was talking to my youngest son and, and um, him and his wife, they, they like to keep kind of hands on with trying to, you know, steer the kids. And I'm like, I just don't remember having that kind of problem mm -hmm. because I trusted them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I thought, I think they did fairly well. Well, there's definitely much more out there for them to get involved. Right, and, right. and that's true too. Right, that's and what we had to deal mm -hmm. with. That's know, true the, the too. The cell phone, the technology. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. On and so but forth, as far so. as education and stuff, Mm -hmm. um, I didn't try to, I, well, I guess I did. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I think I did tell the youngest boy I didn't want to see him be a lawyer because lawyers lie and stuff, I said. <laughs> <laughs> and I, look, I looked up mm -hmm. and, uh, gosh, he was halfway through law school, I guess. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. I, I, I trusted them. And, and you're right, there's a lot more stuff. but. These are good kids. I mean, they mm -hmm. haven't tampered with none of that outside yeah. stuff. Raise them up in the way they should go. Yeah. Train them yeah. up. Train them and up. that's Proverbs. I got exactly. still in my notes somewhere, but mm -hmm. I'm going to say it now. Proverbs 22, 6. Mm -hmm. Train up a child in the way it ought to go, and when it's old, it won't depart from it. Amen. And I say, yeah. I am a product of that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I am a product of that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Now, I said also, destiny now arising. And then I went on to say, I was reminded how we are all blessed mm -hmm. because we are the seed of Abraham, mm -hmm. the father of faith. And um, we saw how he had faith. Mm -hmm. And so we are uh, part of his seed. And so we, not because of him having faith, but we're in that bloodline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we have 12, Romans 12 and 3. But if you have anything you want to say about that bloodline with Abraham, please go right ahead. Okay, then I'm going to keep it moving. <laughs> We're going to go on to Romans 12 and 3. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I say that Paul speaks here through grace given to him as an apostle of Jesus Christ. And he says, but I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Oh Lord, mm -hmm. we have a lot of that. Yep. But to think soberly according as God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. Mm -hmm. And I go on to say that we can use our faith and gifts towards saving our children. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and um, not only saving our children, 
but uh, uniting in our churches and mm -hmm. doing things for the kingdom of God. But because we're talking about saving God saving our children, mm -hmm. I said that the gifts can be used, our faith and the gifts can be used towards saving our children. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Well, and then I added to that uh, it can be for our homes uh, in our church, mm -hmm. places like Hope Center for the girls and boys. Uh, are you familiar with the Hope Center? Oh, yeah. They do a lot with the boys and with the girls. Mm -hmm. And I've been intending to go and talk to Pastor, um, what's his last name? Um, King? King, to mm -hmm. Pastor King and, and see uh, if there's anything that um, my church can come in and do. Mm -hmm. I know they do a lot of things, so, and with him being there, mm -hmm. I'm sure they do a lot of spiritual things mm -hmm. yeah. for the kids. Mm -hmm. okay. Great environment, especially for after school. A lot mm -hmm. of kids go home and there's no parents at home. There's yes. no yes. disciplinary there. There's nobody to make them do their homework or yes. their mm -hmm. chores. And, and you know what I see, mm -hmm. what I saw when you were saying that, how there are, and of course there are some dads that took mm -hmm. on the oh, yes. job of raising the kids, but mm -hmm. there are so many times there's the, that mother. Mm -hmm. I was a single mom mm -hmm. and uh, uh, having to go to work and and of course, when I was working at this one company and uh, they wanted me to come back and work nights, I'm like, I, I cannot mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. So I knew I needed to better my education to do, yes. be able to do something different because that would have took me away from my kids mm -hmm. at night. Uh, of course, I had a good babysitter back in those days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there are so many moms mm -hmm. yes. that, um, and, and you, you'll see with the basketball players, a lot of them that have made it. Mm -hmm. uh, they talk about how their dad wasn't there, but right. the mother, how she worked two or three jobs and mm -hmm. stuff and mm -hmm. took care of them. And, and when, they, uh, when they make it, mm -hmm. they usually buy that mother a very expensive home mm -hmm. and put her in it. Mm -hmm. And I, I just think that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I think it's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Mark eleven twenty two, and of course, that's about the fig tree. And, and, and of course, it's about um, having faith. Uh, and and uh, 22 says, and Jesus answering said unto them, have faith in God. And that's part of my, I think that's gonna be my subtitle for my fourth book. But faith, faith in God will enable us to deal with anything. Mm -hmm. Our children's problems, where they deal with these mental issues, mm -hmm. uh, where they deal with depression, mm -hmm. where they deal with stress. And I, I believe, now I have gone through some depressive times, mm -hmm. but I've never been in a place where I wanted to harm myself. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is a very, very dark place yes, yes. for, for uh, anybody, adults or children. Mm -hmm. But children, a lot of times, they don't know who they can talk to. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they have been molested by uh, People that's lead in leadership that's yeah. over them, sure. and uh, they don't they they don't know whether they it's their fault whether mm -hmm. they should share it with their parents or not, and and it's not just to the little girls but to the little boys too, mm -hmm. and here the, these people become grown men and women, and they are still suffering yes. from those things, and so we have got to mm -hmm. be. Um, available for God to use us mm -hmm. to heal the children. You know, I work at a mental health uh, facility and there you see a lot of children who come in mm -hmm. and I'm not giving names, but uh, right. they are in dire straits. Mm -hmm. uh, they have tried to commit suicide. Uh, they have, they start cutting themselves or doing all kinds of things mm -hmm. to themselves. Mm -hmm. But in my capacity in there is building, but what I do is I, I'm a prayer warrior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so as people come in, especially if they get my attention, I just begin to pray. Because mm -hmm. God hears what kind of prayer, whatever kind of prayer that you have that you can deliver to him, you know, 
The Bible says he asked and you shall receive. That's right. So I ask, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, we've been getting too many, you know, too many kids that don't know where to go. They don't know mm -hmm. what to do with themselves. Uh, and so they, uh, they feel lost. They feel left alone. They don't know how to tell a parent. So uh, we need to, as adults, just keep paying attention to those kinds of things because there's all kinds of warnings Mm -hmm. isolation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those yeah. kinds of things. Yeah. Uh, but pay attention, pay attention to mm -hmm. your children because they're hurting. Mm -hmm. yeah. To our children, our grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if, if we got a neighbor, if the neighbor will allow you, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, say some things that will inspire that child. Mm -hmm. Proverbs thirteen twenty two says, a good man leave it an inheritance to his children's children, mm -hmm. and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Mm -hmm. And so I, I thought, I took it another way. I, I looked at how, I say, so a good man leaves an inheritance not only to his children, but also to his grandchildren. Mm -hmm. I say the Old mm -hmm. Testament that probably meant material wealth, mm -hmm. uh, but for our, for our for, but for Christians, I believe it is better advised to leave a rich spiritual heritage yeah. to our loved yeah. ones. Yeah. And then I say that we see the wealth of the sinners will go to the believer. Mm -hmm. So let your spiritual legacy pass down through generation to generation. Mm -hmm. I, I think that uh, if we can... Um, let our children see us. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mean just going to church. I yep. mean truly yep. living yes. for yes. God. Yes. That is going to encourage them and draw them in yeah. yes. to, mm -hmm. to have a, a much better life, mm -hmm. a spiritual life yes. I'm talking about. Because, mm -hmm. so you know, an example uh, is like um, if you have someone who protests or confessed to, to being um, a lawyer, mm -hmm. but they've never opened a book. And they're trying to convince you, but the habits that they form, the speech that they speak, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. convinces you otherwise. So if that's the case, then if you're speaking Christ to our children mm -hmm. and to their friends, mm -hmm. then it's, it's, it's got to do nothing more than just enhance their oh, yeah. uh, spiritual uh, mm -hmm. protection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now, did you have anything? No. Mm -hmm. Now, um, uh, I want to go to 1 John, I believe it is 5, 4. Uh, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Mm -hmm. That's, 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 that's deep right there. Mm -hmm. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even mm -hmm. our faith. Mm -hmm. And then, I, I, did you have something? Mm -mm, no. Okay. Nope. Then I, I, I want to, because our time is getting kind of short, I'm going to go on to 2 Timothy 1 and 5. Mm -hmm. And I added this scripture because I, I, I think it's awesome. Well, let me read it. When I call to remembrance the unfreighted faith that is in thee, and this is Paul talking about Timothy, mm -hmm. which dwelleth first in thy grandmother Lois, and thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee, in thee also. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what I've been kind of, not I, but we have been kind of uh, alluding mm -hmm. to all along, mm -hmm. that we as parents, as grandparents, uh, Godparents or whatever, spiritual parents, yeah. that we need to show uh, a strong spiritual wall that mm -hmm. it will cause our children, our grandchildren, great-grandchildren, uh, we'll leave a spiritual legacy mm -hmm. that will cause them to be hungry for the things of God. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. I'll let you guys expound on that if you, if you like. <laughs> yes, I, I, I believe that, and I believe that they do by example. Mm -hmm. And if they see us doing what we're supposed to be doing or following mm -hmm. uh, Christ with Christ-like behavior, then they will catch on and they will do the same. Mm -hmm. uh, 
not just because you tell them, right? Right. You know, because we are, we have a, a habit of saying because I said so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, we got the proof is in the pudding. Come on, man. Yeah. So we got to show them. We got to put mm -hmm. some action behind those words. That's so, what Proverbs it, twenty two six means. That's mm -hmm. right. Train mm -hmm. up a child the way he should go. That's right. And when he is old, he will not depart from that. That's it. That's good. That's, That's it. right. That's yeah. right. That's, That's it. That's right. Be an example, living mm -hmm. example. Living example. Mm -hmm. my, my mother and my grandmother, they kept us in church day and mm -hmm. night when Mine I was too. in the South. Yeah. And I said mm -hmm. that I would not enter the church <laughs> again after that <laughs> because I was in so much, but here I am. There you are. You know, back in church. So you the you know, you, Yeah, you can't you can't <laughs> you're products of your or your roots. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I was gonna say, did you have something? No, I was going to say, God Were knows what done? we need. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Okay. From the beginning, we're marked. Yes, <laughs> yes. I, I want to quickly say this, and, and mm -hmm. then you guys can jump in with your... Um, I have this prayer I wanted to do. Oh, that's right. Uh -huh. Let me say this real quick. Uh -huh. Mother's Day, well, I got all these scars, but and every they write in them because I always write in mine mm -hmm. to them, and mm -hmm. they look for it, they expect uh -huh. it. Then And uh, Aaron Michael Young, uh, Artez and Dorinda Young's son mm -hmm. would be graduating on tomorrow morning from mm -hmm. engineering college. Mm -hmm. And wow. uh, in his card, Praise I don't Lord. remember what he said at the beginning, but wow. at the end, he said he wanted to be able to carry on my legacy. Wow. Wow. I'm blessing. about to run. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hallelujah. Uh, Me too. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise yes. yes. Go ahead with your well, this prayer. prayer um, I would like for you guys to repeat it after me as okay. well as the audience to okay. join in okay. and repeat after okay. me. And it's called Divine Restraining Order okay. for your children. Oh, yes. Okay. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. We come to you by the blood of Jesus. We come, come to you by, by the blood, blood of Jesus. Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for being my advocate. Thank, Thank you for, for being, being my advocate. advocate. In the court of heaven. In the court of heaven. And I know that you never lose cases. And I know, know that, that you never lose cases. Because the court of heaven is based on the finished work of what Jesus Christ oh, did on the cross. What the court said. of heaven is based on the court, the court of heaven, heaven is based, based on, on the finished work, the finished work of Jesus Christ, of Jesus Christ, and what He did on the cross, and what He did on the cross. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, you said in your word, you said in your word that our children, that our children are a heritage of the Lord, are a heritage of the Lord.